This is the James McCabe Heritage 2 watch. Uh, this is an English based company uh, which started back in 1775 and they produced watches for about 100 years uh, before they stopped uh, and now they've started to produce watches again. Now the, the factory is um, just uh, an hour from where I live which is great uh, because I've um, invited myself to their factory. Uh, I actually asked them, I said, would it be possible for me to come and uh, have a look and take a video and do a background uh, on the company and they um, they very uh, kindly agreed. So hopefully I'm going to do that uh, later this month uh, and then the video should be out um, probably early next month. So uh, let me tell you about uh, the watch and how it came. So this is what it comes in, in this really nice wooden box. Now most watches at this price point would just come in a really cheap cardboard box. But this is a solid wooden box with a really nice hinge. Uh, so they've, they've done a good job there, I was really impressed with it. Inside the box um, you saw earlier, so we've got uh, the uh, the warranty card here, which is a two year warranty uh, you get with the, with the watch, which is brilliant. And then you have the instruction manual. Now in the instruction manual you also have a little bit about the history. Now you've got the James McCabe website there and then uh, if you go inside and you can see it'll talk about the history. James McCabe was born in 1748, uh, son of Patrick McCabe and so on. And it tells you about the watches uh, and how he started. Uh, and uh, they've actually produced some um, pocket watches for some very famous people. Uh, two very famous people. One, Lord Horatio Nelson. Uh, they produced a pocket watch for him, which is this one here which actually sold at auction for £400,000 uh, back in 2005. Uh, it's got all the information there. That was like a really complicated uh, watch there. And then another person was George Washington. So they produced a watch for George Washington and this is the one that they produced for him. Uh, today the pocket, uh, this pocket watch number 3030 resides at George Washington Museum. Um, in Virginia, USA, so you can uh, you can go and see this watch made by James McCabe uh, in Virginia, USA. So those are the two uh, pamphlets that you come with it. And what else comes with it is this really nice travel case. I've just push the watch back a bit. So majority of watches they'll just they'll just come like that, uh, but this actually comes with this really nice travel case. So you can put your watch in there when you're traveling or um, if you're not going to be wearing it, you can put the watch inside, uh, which is really nice. I like that. Uh, it's a good little touch to it, uh, and I'll definitely be using that. It's got uh, James McCabe inscribed Belfast, London, uh, just on the uh, on the edge there. Now the watch itself. Let me give you some specifications on the watch. It is 39 millimeters in diameter, and it's 12 millimeters thick, uh, and it uses the Japanese Miyota three-hand automatic movement with date. Now the dial I really do like. It's got this uh, multi-layered uh, with a step in the middle of the dial uh, and it has applied hour markers. Uh, so most watches at this price point um, just have a plain flat dial uh, and painted uh, hour markers. So they've done a really good job. They've, they've paid a lot of attention to detail on the dial. Uh, you can see uh, all the way around it's got these sort of railroad marking um, minute markers which I really like. Uh, it gives it a real vintage look, a real pocket watch type. Uh, I think that's what they've tried to go for uh, to look at their heritage uh, and produce some watches um, which uh, hark back to their um, tradition. So the dial has this very uh, unusual spray paint effect on it um, which uh, I I don't know what to say about that, to be honest. Uh, it it gives the dial a really different look to it, because um, most dials, they'll, they'll have like a textured look, uh, and when you catch them at different lights, the, it will give a different look to it. But this one, because it has the spray paint on it, uh, it always has a different uh, texture to it. So it is quite nice. Um, I do like it compared to just a normal flat uh, silver or a, a gray dial to it. So it, it does add something to it. It has these uh, stainless steel Breguet type flat hands uh, with no loom on there. Uh, the entire dial doesn't have any loom um, on it uh, at all, um, which is to be expected on a on a dress watch. Uh, you wouldn't really expect uh, uh, a dress watch to have um, loom on it. 
and it has this really nice domed sapphire crystal uh, it just sets the watch off really nicely the way it, it, it curves up uh, instead of having a flat dial again like most watches would do they just have a flat dial uh, and um, and leave it at that it doesn't have any anti-reflective coating on it which is a real shame I do prefer watches with anti-reflective coating I know a lot of people don't like them but I do wish companies would put anti-reflective coating on their uh, sapphire crystals or uh, acrylic crystals because if you don't like it you can always take it off but for someone like me who does like it and prefers the way uh, the dial looks without um, uh, any glare or anything on there it, it just makes the watch look better I think. So any other companies out there who are going to produce some watches uh, please put anti-reflective coating on your crystals. The watch is made from stainless steel but uh, it's uh, ionic plated with bronze which gives it this really old vintage look to it which I really do like. Now I know a lot of companies are starting to make uh, bronze watches and um, a lot of people are waiting to see what they will look like uh, in years or decades to come. Uh, I think if it looks something like this um, uh, I'd be really impressed with it. Uh, but this one gives it to you immediately, it gives you a real vintage look to it straight out of the box. Uh, and I really like that. Um, I'm into my vintage watches. Uh, my collection's completely changed now to more vintage watches uh, than modern ones. And if you can buy a vintage looking watch uh, straight out of the box with uh, all the modern functions and features, I think that's a, gr uh, a great uh, way to go. On the, on the left hand side you've got the uh, James McCabe logo and uh, on the right hand side we've got the crown. Uh, it's just a simple non-screw down crown, so the first position which will change the date and then you pull it out again. It's a non-hacking movement where you can set the the time uh, and it's 50 meters water resistant which is, is for me it's fine. Uh, I've been wearing this watch now for just under two weeks and it's been my full-time watch for that time uh, and I've take, I actually have taken it into the pool and, and been swimming with it and I've not had any issues uh, with any water getting into it or anything else. Now on the back of the watch uh, you can see it's got a see-through sapphire crystal. Now if uh, you're a regular subscriber to me and you see my other videos you will know I'm not a big fan of uh, sapphire crystal back cases unless the movement is something special uh, and it's not just a generic movement. Now to James McCabe's um, credit uh, they've actually done some changes to the back of the watch now and they've changed the the rotor uh, and they've, they've done a good job I do like it if you look at it you can just about see uh, the Gillow shade uh, inscribed on the back of it and then you've got the GM that so you can see um, the the movement which is a not not a bad movement but I would have much rather have had a solid case back now James McCabe, um, they've got another watch um, which they've got a side case back and it's got a really nice engraving on there. Uh, I would have much rather have had um, that type of engraving on the watch. Uh, but I am in the minority when it comes to this. Uh, the majority of people do prefer to have a, a see-through back case and um, that's why companies are doing it. And on the edge you've got a water resistant 5 ATM. Belfast London all stainless steel then you've got the reference number which is JM1022 and it says assembled in UK uh, an automatic movement. The watch comes on this 20 millimeter lug strap which is really nice it's very soft uh, and it's got these quick release pins which is brilliant uh, you just that's how easy it is to take off and then if you have another strap you just simply do that clicks in and you, that's how quick it is to change a strap if you have another strap. Now I've tried it on uh, a, a vast array of straps as always. Um, I love to change my straps. Um, I think any watch you should have at least two or three straps uh, to give the watch a, a different look and feel to it. Uh, the strap James McKay give you is really good quality. Uh, I, I can't fault it. Uh, it's waterproof. Uh, like I said, I've been swimming with, uh, with my watch and um, I've not had any problems. It comes on this pin buckle, which I really do like. Uh, a lot of companies are putting these horrible deployment buckles on, uh, which don't suit the watches whatsoever. Uh, this one goes well with the watch, and the GM is actually inscribed in. It's not uh, lasered in. 
again like most other companies they will just put a, a horrible either pin buckle or deploy it and then just laser the logos in uh, they've done a really really good job i'm very impressed with the the fit and finish of this watch uh, they've done a fantastic job i think at this price point uh, you'll be very hard pressed to find on the watch with this quality I have enjoyed wearing this watch for the past two weeks. Um, most watches I will wear for a few weeks um, before I do a review and then I'll put them down and then sometimes won't pick them up again for months um, or even years. But I think this one I will be wearing a lot. Uh, I have really enjoyed wearing it. Uh, one of the reasons is it, it goes with everything. I can wear it uh, as a casual watch. Um, like I said, I've been swimming with it so I've not had to worry about um, uh, it being damaged. Um, it seems to be very robust uh, and I can wear it with a suit um, when I'm going to a meeting. So it is, um, it could be for some people uh, the one watch that they, they want for everything. And um, I think they've done a fantastic job with the, the whole watch, uh, the fit and finish. Can't fault it. Um, and I will be actually uh, picking up a, another James McCabe watch, um, which is going to be a chronograph, uh, this one here. Uh, and uh, I think that might be, I might be picking up from the factory, um, I'm just waiting for them to confirm that they've got it uh, and then hopefully I can pick it up at the factory and uh, maybe do an unboxing at the factory which would be fantastic. Uh, I'll leave a link to the James McCabe uh, website below. Uh, if you subscribe, subscribe to their um, newsletter, uh, they have um, uh, discount codes and things like that sometimes and um, uh, special offers on some of their watches. Uh, and uh, up upcoming watches, they've got some really nice new watches that um, uh, I've, I've seen. Uh, so I'm looking forward to the factory tour, hopefully in the next few weeks. Uh, so um, watch out for that uh, video, and thank you for watching.